How we doing guys? So we've got a, a little uh, little repair job on an outdoor seating little timber seat area. It's only a small job but it's a little bit intricate here and there. So basically we've got to replace the roof. As you can see it's completely gone. This bit of timber here was completely rotten. So as you can see guys, this is rotten. This is the, like the, the detail on the front and then you've got what is effectively a bit of 4x2 but not quite as thick so I've got a, I bought some 4x2 which is there we've already cut our stuff to length so that's our 4x2 cut to length all I've got to do is thin it down with the table saw which is our next job and then the other side of the piece that's rotten we're just going to screw it to this bit of timber nice and flush I'm just going to cut off the excess randomly and then I'm going to use a flush cut route of it like that and then we can go around the edge of that and get a perfect copy. Okay guys so we've marked out where we've got to do some pattern chop outs but now we're going to thin this down so I've already set my thickness by putting that between the blade and my guide so that's my, new, that's my thickness now got to push it ready to go okay so we've ripped that down now to the same thickness and I also set my saw up as much as I could to cut this section out so I'm just gonna set my skill saw now to the right depth and do a few cuts through this so I can chisel it out so that it will replicate that one okay so just rip through a few times and now that bit's obviously gone then you're just going to break these extra bits off, like so. Then you just get a chisel, clean them up. So there you go guys, so that is now almost an exact copy of the original one. We've just got to do something similar here now, by getting it set to the same depth as that. And we're as good as gold. So as before guys, we set our depth, run for a few times, so now these should now all break off. Quite simple, and then chisel it out. So just like that with a hammer, just tap them out. All I've got to do now is clean up that excess with the chisel. So there you go, all cleaned out now. So we just do a quick test fit, and there we go. So all on the top, exactly as it was once before, notched out for there as well. So now we get that fixed in place. Okay guys, now for some reason, they drilled these big holes and put wedges in. As you can see, this one does. I knocked it back in, but it does come out. So I've bought some dowel, which we're gonna re-drill. And we're gonna put these dowels in there now and glue them in so that it makes these a solid again. Okay guys, so change of plan. So I tried drilling it and as you can see, it's completely gone. So I'm gonna have to unscrew this piece, cut a new piece in. We've got plenty of 4 by 2 still, it's just a bit annoying. So okay guys, so as before, we've set our thickness with our guide. So now that that's done, we can run our 4 by 2 through with our push, push stick. Okay, so we've run it through. It hasn't gone all the way through, but that doesn't matter because we've got to rip it to the width now. So now we're going to get this one. We've got to put it in that way, so we need to Wind our guide back, stick our bit of timber in, wind it to it, make sure it slides through and get it too tight, otherwise you're going to end up with it too small, that's about right. Lock me guide in and we're ready to go with the next one. Okay, so we've now got that ripped through, so we're going to just round these edges off nicely with the router. Okay guys, so we're going to use one of these bits, just an angled bit with a bearing guide just to chamfer all four sides of that and there you go guys you can see it's a very very slight chamfer it's not as big as the one that's already on the existing timbers but I don't have a rat bit any bigger than that so that is what you're going to get but it will do so that should now slot in there replacement part and then we'll just screw that back on screw another one on there 
screw through there which is already in place and we're golden okay guys so we've got a new bit there all joined in nicely new piece in there all joined in nicely so all our rotten timber is now removed so now we just got to cut our fascia boards which i've already started on so <clears throat> i've basically cut off most of the excess so now i'm just going to screw that to this and then i'm going to use the router to get an exact template so that's now screwed to that and we're going to put the router bit in now so this is the bit we're going to be using it's a flush cut so basically what you do is you're going to set it that way around and then in one go you can replicate that exact pattern so don't forget guys always work away from you never put it towards you because it will kick out bottom pattern guys so we'll start from here you can see the back edge as well so it's an exact replica then guys it's a perfect copy all i'm going to do now is get my sander and i'm just going to sand all this just to try and get it nice and flat and looking nice and decent and then uh, screw it on and there you go guys so i've sanded it all down so it's ready for a coat of stain now which the client's going to do herself all we've got to do now is attach him to that and there you go guys just gonna put the roof on now which is going to be 18 mil rsb with a little bit of batten on the sides just to help secure everything. But yeah, looking very nice. And there we go guys. Back to its original condition. All nicely felted. We've uh, trimmed the feet so that they're all the same height. Because that one they were rotten, it was rocking, it was all uneven and unsquare. But yeah, so all nicely done. It's got a nice pitch on the roof. We put a couple of bits of batten underneath just to help tie the felt in. There you go. If you guys like, share, follow. I'll see you on the next one.